Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you're here. Today we're going to create a fall leaves and floral card with matching envelope using brand new products from the Hero Arts My Monthly Hero September release. My cards are created with the add-ons only, not the main kit, so please make sure and check out the Hero Arts blog and designers blogs for inspiration using that main kit. Today I am going to be creating color with ink pads only using the stencil and also some fancy dyes and then we'll stamp a little greeting and create a matching envelope. I do want to let you know that Friday, September 9th, I will be doing a live where I'm going to demo some of the new foil plates from the add-on release so please check out that video for more inspiration with add-ons from this release. I have, am using this beautiful new leaf circle stencil. I absolutely love when Hero Arts does circle type of stencils, like the butterfly one was one of my favorites, and the snowflake one is one of my favorites, and this fall leaf one is going to be one of my favorites. I have layered this over a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel of smooth white cardstock. We're gonna be using edge to edge today. I wanna to use the entire thing so I can get the most uh, visual leaf or leaves circle as possible. And I'm using all Hero Arts inks to do my coloring. So we've got fawn and caramel and soft olive. Now I've got some pumpkin. All of the ink colors I'm using are listed below and I'm using the inks to color everything. No markers needed. So if you love the look of colored die cuts or uh, colored images, inks are a great option. This is a little, what, sweet mustard, I believe. Hope I have that right. And I really am just going for a very fall look. Now, if this is your first time here, I absolutely love fall. It's my favorite season. Um, I love decorating for fall. I love fall uh, crafting of all kinds. And so anytime new fall products come out, I am here for it. Um, this is going to be some cranberry, I believe. I did pull another color and it did not work at all. It is cranberry, but I think the cranberry is a really beautiful little pop of red into a fall design. And then I'm gonna finish out with a little cup of joe, which for years has been one of my very, very favorite brown shades. It's a nice deep dark brown. And we're gonna round out our beautiful circle. So all different colors, all the way around. And you'll notice that I really made sure to overlap the color where they meet. Now this is beautiful, but the white to me is just a little too harsh for a fall card. So we are going to go back and I am using some of that caramel color and I have tapped off a lot of the ink on a scrap piece of paper out of the scene of the, or out of the frame, pardon me, of the camera. And I am using a light hand to add that color all over the panel, going over the top of all of my inking. And this is giving it that fall vibe to me. I love kind of just completely starting with a blank piece of paper and going in and adding all this beautiful color. Then I'm using a little bit heavier hand just around the edges to deepen darken that. It almost gives it an instant frame since we are using the entire four and a quarter by five and a half inch real estate. I'm gonna clean up my stencil mat I, or my, my magnetic mat because I am using it and I'm gonna make sure my stencil's clean and what I am inking on is clean and I am going to take my favorite Hero Arts glitter paste. I absolutely love this. So this background is beautiful and depending on what you're gonna create, you could leave it as is. But I want to highlight the die cut florals. If I would put the florals on this background, I almost feel like they are overwhelmed by the leaves. So much like what you would achieve with vellum, vellum is one of my favorite go-tos for muting a background but still being able to see it, I almost think that a glitter paste does the same thing. We are still gonna get the benefit of the beautiful color. We're still going to see that beautiful shape all the way around. We're not losing anything, but we're adding a little touch of, of glitter and it mutes the color just enough that I feel like it's gonna help our floor, die cut florals really pop 
off of this background. I am using the Hero Arts Glitter Paste. I'm using a stencil pal to kind of try to get that nice, smooth, even. I don't know that I was super successful uh, in some areas, but that's okay. I don't mind a little mess. Now I am gonna go clean everything up with warm, soapy water as fast as fast can be, and I will be back to color in some die cuts. These are the fall, or pardon me, the foliage and flowers fancy die. You guys know when Hero Arts has a fancy die, I'm going to use it because they are my absolute favorite. The detail is amazing. Whether you cho choose to watercolor, color in with markers, die cut from colorful cardstock, or die cut from white cardstock and add color with inks like I'm doing today, the results are going to be amazing. Always. So, so good. So I am using a little uh, spicy mustard and also fawn, yes, for my flower. I want this to look like a sunflower. And the blotchiness is going to fade. It's gonna be very smooth. These are a dye ink. So once that ink is dried and absorbed into the cardstock, which happens very quickly with a dye ink, we are gonna be left with a smooth type of finish. In the center of each of these, I did go for a round blending brush so that I could kind of control the ink a little bit better for this part. I am using Cup of Joe. So this is turning our beautiful die cut into a sunflower, which is what I wanted to do to create my floral arrangement for my card. These are gonna be layered together and kind of the focal point and we're gonna build our leaves and all of that good stuff around it. From some of the greenery, I am going to color these in with moss and soft olive. We're gonna start with soft olive first. I really felt like we needed to pull in some green here to balance every all of the fall colors out. It's kind of a great base, if you will. So again, just taking my ink blending brush, adding color uh, with the soft olive first, and then we'll go in with moss and darken up a few little areas. You can use any colors of ink that you like. I love, love, love all of the Hero Arts inks. Really good inks. Here not too long ago, someone asked me for my favorite inks, and I said it's like picking your favorite child. You can't do that. And I think I didn't even mention Hero Arts, which, which I can't believe, um, because I use them all of the time. And there's I really feel like it's more the color than the brand of ink, if that makes sense. Um, this is the mistake color, by the way. I use pale tomato, that's way too cherry red. Like I feel like that might be a good Christmas, but not uh, fall. So I'm covering up that with the cranberry. And then to make it a little bit moodier and dirtier, I guess, if you will, I'm just gonna take a little brown. Brown is a great go-to if you want to darken and dirty up some of your fall type of dye cuts. But back to um, the inks, I am more of a color. So if I like a certain color, and I feel like across the board there are different colors from different manufacturers that are my favorite. You're getting to see a lot of my favorite fall colors here. I feel like Hero Arts has some really, really good ones um, in their selection. And here's that caramel color. Oh, I love it. I really want it to be balanced out. And of course, pumpkin is the perfect pumpkin color. Sometimes that's not always the case, but in, in this case it is. I went ahead and laid out my images. Nothing is adhered down. With this particular fall leaves circle stencil, it naturally leaves an opening in the center, which I think is perfect for a sentiment. So from the brand new Artichoke Arrangement stamp set, I'm gonna take Happy Birthday. You may have a stamp set already with greetings you want to use. There's lots of different greetings in this stamp set. They are not all uh, birthday at all. Like there's um, a thank you, congratulations, you are are amazing love you so there's lots of choices in this particular stamp set if you're picking it up um, but you might also have something that already works I'm stamping that with clear embossing ink using the hero arts gold embossing powder to emboss because I felt like the gold really just kind of worked with the whole fall vibe we have going and I am gonna make sure that I heat both the front and the back of my panel and it's kind of in the upper part of that circle. And then we're going to frame up 
you, if you will, the circle with our die cuts. So now that we have our greeting, I am going to start by building our floral arrangement. And I want it to kind of, I don't want it to cover up happy birthday, but I do want it to be up high enough that it is part of the design. We're gonna layer our sunflower first. For some reason, this gave me so much trouble. I'm only putting adhesive <laughs> underneath the center of my flower. And that's so I can tuck my foliage around it. And I'm gonna just start building my floral arrangement. Little bits of glue. You don't wanna completely cover it. You just wanna add enough glue that you can build that floral arrangement and keep tucking in leaves and greenery and all of the great things to build this. Once I have built the arrangement out, it's gonna give me a good idea of how much more do I need. I, I had a pretty good idea that one pass of this die cut, well, it's many die cuts, but I left my the t mine tab together and die cut it all as one. Um, but I had a pretty good idea that I was going to need more, but I decided to go ahead and adhere what I had, and then I can always go back and add more, which I've already inked up an additional leaf here. I had it, I've die cut it twice already, just preparing for the inevitable. I know me, more is better. <laughs> And so we've got our little grouping of orange leaves. And then in that bottom left corner, I feel like it still needs a little something. I've got another red leaf, and then I've got another little brown sprig that I'll put there, caramel sprig. And I think at this point I was like, well, something still doesn't look right. I need to add something else. And you're really getting to see my thought process of how do I build this floral arrangement. And ultimately I thought, you know what we really need? We need more greenery. I think a trio of greenery is going to be more pleasing to the eye and there's that big open spot right there. So I will die cut, well I already have it die cut, I will ink up that extra like bigger duo of leaves uh, with the same soft olive and moss colors and tuck it there in that bottom left corner. And that looks so much better. And again, that will smooth out. It'll match the other leaves a lot better. Embellishing time, my favorite. I am taking some beautiful pearl um, gems from Pretty Pink Posh in the color Espresso. And these are perfect for the center of my sunflower. Just to dress it up a little bit and really kind of draw your eye into that central focal point. So I am putting a bunch of the teeniest tiny little pearls from this collection in the center. I'm using my favorite Simon Says Stamp Triangle Trays. If you've got some triangle trays, they are so great for when you're dealing with small embellishments. Now it doesn't help if you bump it and they, they'll still spill, <laughs> but I do think it makes it really easy to pick out what you want and then be able to funnel it back into a little baggie or in, to, in my case, this little container here that I store my embellishments in. Once I have that, you guys probably already guessed it, I love adding a little heart embellishment to almost every project I create. And I decided to take my favorite Trinity Stamps coffee bean hearts, and I am going to put at least one, and in this case I did just go with the one, um, on my card. And I played with several different placement. It probably would have looked okay up there now that I look at it again. But I ended up putting it kind of at the end of Happy Birthday, coming up off of the, the swoop of the Y, and I like it. We're going to attach this then to a white top fold card base. You could also use side fold, whatever you prefer. And it's time for a matching envelope. I haven't done a matching envelope in a few videos. Um, and so it is time to match one up. I love stencils for envelopes, you guys know this. The thing about the, the um, pardon me, leaf circle stencil here, it's not going to fit the envelope like it does the card. And I, it's also a lot of inking and I still wanna have that room to write my address. So when I have a stencil like this, what I like to do is I am going to only ink a portion of it. I've kind of lined it up in that bottom left corner. I'm going back in with a lot of those same ink colors that I used. And I am just going to lightly ink along that left kind of left side coming around the bottom, but maybe not completely covering the bottom. And you get to see that I totally put my red ink blending brush in my brown ink pad. So smart right there. 
but that's okay. It, it will still be okay. I'll have to wash my blending brush, but my envelope is going to look amazing. Very, very simple and a v quick way to create a coordinating envelope quickly and easily. You don't have to use the whole design. It doesn't have to be super perfect. I kind of like where the leaves fade off into the rest of the envelope. It leaves a great space to handwrite the address. I noticed I must have missed something. Oh, that upper corner. And that is it, friends. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for these fall leaves and florals card featuring brand new products from the Hero Arts September 2022 My Monthly Hero release. For more ideas using products from this release, definitely check out my live, which will be Friday, September 9th, 2022 at 9 a.m. The supplies I use to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my Patreon members. If you would like to become a member of Patreon, please click the link in the description below. We would love to have you over there as part of our growing community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure to click the like button and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new card making video. When we hit 100,000 subscribers, we're going to have a huge party here. Thank you guys and we'll see you again next time. Bye!